Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with a browser test. So a question I get asked all the time is, what's the best web browser? Considering how many choices are out there, it definitely makes sense to find the best, especially considering how much time everyone spends checking email, going on Facebook, YouTube, all that kind of stuff every single day. So today I'm going to be comparing four of the best. So I'm going to be taking a look at Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Opera, as well as Microsoft Internet Explorer to see which one is going to be the best of the best. To test, I used a mid-range PC with an AMD FX 4300 quad-core processor, 8GB of RAM, and a Radeon 6850 graphics card running Windows 8. To start with, we're using the Peacekeeper benchmark, which is a fantastic overall test of a browser's performance. Now this tests quite a few things about the browsers, so for example how fast they are at rendering JavaScript, how well they handle various different web standards, and all kinds of fun geeky stuff that you guys probably don't care about. Google Chrome clearly wins this one, with a score well above the rest of the competition. Opera does fairly well, as does Firefox and Internet Explorer. However, especially when you consider JavaScript, Chrome is really second to none. Next up, we have the HTML5 test, which measures how well each browser adheres to the latest web standards. The way to think of HTML is kind of like the rulebook for the internet, as basically every single web page uses it, so this kind of tells you how well each browser will be able to support some of the really cool things you'll find all over the internet. Here again, Chrome does very well, coming up on a perfect 500 score. Both Opera and Firefox also do very well here, and even Internet Explorer 10, which does come in a distant last, still supports a vast majority of HTML5 that you'll find on the internet. Moving on, we have the HTML5 fishbowl, which measures how well each browser supports GPU acceleration. As more and more of the internet moves away from Flash for all kinds of cool things, it's definitely important to see how well all of these browsers support cool things such as games. Even while rendering 2,000 fish at one time, Firefox easily aced this one, with a perfect score of 60 frames per second. Internet Explorer 10 also did very well, as did Chrome, however Opera fell way behind due to the fact that the GPU acceleration really didn't seem to be working well with this test. Now it's time to see exactly how fast all of these browsers load web pages. So that's what I did, I loaded up Amazon.com each time in the browsers multiple times and averaged the scores to see exactly how fast they really are. Impressively, Opera was the fastest browser in this test, followed up very closely by Chrome, as well as Internet Explorer, and finally Firefox. Next up, I took a look at the memory usage of each of the browsers with 7 tabs open. Now this is especially important if you have a slower computer, as generally the more lightweight the browser is, the better it will run. Firefox is the clear winner here, taking up much less memory than the other three. Internet Explorer did alright, however both Opera and Chrome took up much more memory to do the exact same thing than the others. Overall, there are a few things to take away from this. For starters, all four browsers actually did really quite well, so the days of having to immediately ditch Internet Explorer are mostly over, as it's become a very competent browser. Firefox also did well, especially if you have a slower computer, and Opera did really well, and most all tests didn't really win a whole lot, but it's still a very fast browser and still a very good way to go. However, the winner for this one has to be Chrome, as it was consistently one of the fastest browsers out there, and as long as you have a fairly decent computer to run it, it should be a really solid choice. I'm interested to know, what browser are you guys using? While I tried to go over as much as I could in this test, of course there are other things I didn't go over, for example extensions and all kinds of special features that each browser has, so definitely be sure to let me know what browser you guys use in the comments below. If you're interested in more, feel free to check out my last video, where I went over the top 5 features of the brand new PlayStation 4. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave this video a thumbs up, and if you're interested in more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Anyway guys, I will catch you next time.